Welcome to a story shrouded in mystery, intrigue, and unanswered questions. Today, we delve into the puzzling case of Gareth Williams, a brilliant mathematician and secret intelligence officer whose death sparked worldwide speculation and controversy. Gareth Williams was born and raised on the picturesque island of Anglesey. From a young age, his exceptional intellect set him apart. He achieved a remarkable feat by graduating with a first-class degree in mathematics at the tender age of 17. His academic prowess was evident, and it was clear that he was destined for greatness. William's career path led him into the heart of British intelligence. He began working at GCHQ in Cheltenham, a renowned government communications headquarters. Later, he was seconded to MI6, the United Kingdom's secret intelligence service, where his brilliance found a new platform. Within the intelligence community, Gareth Williams gained a reputation as a world-class intelligence officer. His colleagues recalled a young man who was both exceptionally talented and keenly devoted to his work. However, it was Gareth Williams' untimely death that thrust him into the spotlight of public curiosity. In August 2010, police officers were dispatched to his MI6-owned top-floor flat in Pimlico, London, after colleagues raised concerns about his absence for over ten days, what they discovered was a scene that defied easy explanation. William's lifeless body lay naked inside a zipped-up large red North Face sports holdall padlocked inside an empty bath in the ensuite bathroom of his master bedroom. The police investigation determined that he had likely died in the early hours of Tuesday, August 16th, 2010. But how he came to be in such a perplexing situation remained a puzzle. Adding to the intrigue were details that emerged about Gareth Williams' personal life. Police revealed that he owned £15,000 worth of unworn women's designer clothing, meticulously stored in six boxes at his flat. Despite these revelations, Gareth Williams' close friends and family disputed any suggestions that his death was linked to his private life. They described him as a generous, loving son, brother, and friend, a brilliant mind who was passionate about cycling, music, history, and art. His circle of friends emphasized his brilliant sense of humor and his enormous intellect. They painted a picture of a private and introverted man who was passionate about his work and rarely shared details about it. The mystery surrounding Gareth Williams' death was further compounded by forensic and expert analysis. Expert witnesses attempted to determine whether it was physically possible for him to lock himself inside the holdall in the bathtub. Their attempts left room for doubt, and it was suggested that another party must have been involved in placing him inside the bag. Pathologists who conducted post-mortem examinations couldn't establish a definitive cause of death. Possibilities of poisoning or asphyxiation were raised, but could not be confirmed. Dr. Benjamin Swift, a home office pathologist, considered poisoning and asphyxiation as the foremost contenders, but labelled them possibilities, not probabilities. Dr. Richard Shepherd, another pathologist, believed that Williams was likely alive when placed inside the bag, and that he might have been aware of his predicament for a short period before his demise. The enigmatic circumstances of Gareth Williams' life and death have fueled speculation and intrigue. While his work in the world of intelligence remains veiled in secrecy, his death remains a baffling enigma. Despite extensive investigations and an inquest, the exact circumstances surrounding his demise may never be fully explained, leaving Gareth Williams forever entwined in the mystique of espionage.